SUV. It's pretty sandy, pretty dirty. It's got a pretty good bit of polyurethane on it. You can see how it glistens in the sun. You can hear it on the paint, the glass. See? She's got a lot of dirt on her too. These are really faded. It's a 2012 or 13 of the two. Uh, the hood, of course. Next time you see that, well, it's going to be polished and you will not hear that for sure. Okay. I did a demonstration. It's got a few scratches right through here. I see a good long one. These are the sides that usually get, there's a good one right here. Door handle, okay, I just did this fender right here. I haven't polished it or anything. I basically just removed the polyurethane for the customer to show them that it could be here, clean. Here, mm -hmm. This thing's got a lot of polyurethane on it. I'm gonna remove it real quick. Not real quick. camera doesn't hide anything. I'm gonna take it out in the sun here when I finish this. Get this clay off real quick. I'm not going to wax it. I'm gonna pull it right outside here. All right, what I'm going to do is set this right here. What I want to do here is show you no wax is on this vehicle, not yet. Look at that, no wax. It's been bladed, clayed, every inch. Bladed every inch. Now here's the hood. Now keep in mind, people talk about how uh, clay bar scuffs the paint. Now if you don't, if you know what you're doing, look at that, it's not scuffed. It has not been waxed yet, or polished or anything. Okay. Look at this. I mean, it has, it has no wax on it right now whatsoever. Clay bar and dishwashing liquid took all the wax off. There you go. Alright. This is wet sanding. I do this all day long.
and I'm going to take my pretty blue clay bar, clay it through this water. No, nothing. I don't even have to. I mean, it's not scuffed. I'm going to put a sealer on it, but... What I'm doing is I'm taking 75% of it off and then the other 25% I'll use a clay bar. Very adhesive product. You're never going to see any videos where someone actually demonstrates this much work. Look at that piece. It's perfect. Chrome is done. No scratches, scuffs, anything. And I'll seal it. scratches you damn well would see them. Flipping that clay bar. I'm not going to put any wax on the show you something. All right. Now my soap and water solution, you know, took all the wax off the vehicle. I'm going to have to re-wax it. But, as you can see, no damage from the cleaning process. It's perfect. Not a scratch on it. All the overspray is gone. Took it off this glass right here. Plus, plus I've repaired this. This is a different type. It's kind of a vinyl type but you're not going to see any polyurethane on that piece see it's kind of a vinyl but it's perfect all right top is finished out look at that top polyurethane and i got it off of all the chrome here this thing was covered just slammed with polyurethane every inch look at that top 
solvents, no compounds, nothing but a blade and some clay, some polish. That's your finished product there. Look at that hood. I mean, no compounds, no solvents, no machinery, nothing. No scuffs, no scratches. It's perfect. That thing looks damn good, look at that. Here's your close up on the cell panel here. I mean, look at that. Who's going to show you their work that close? No one does. I haven't seen any videos where someone's taking a vehicle out of the side and going this close over it. Painter spray from Texas. That's another polyurethane spray foam job. Done.